There's never been a better time in the history of the world to be an entrepreneur. The internet allows you to reach millions of customers and to grow as large as the infrastructure you can build can handle. Today, a student with a good idea and an Amazon account can have a company, can be an entrepreneur, and can change the way products are manufactured, can change the way problems are solved, which is leading to all sorts of opportunities. And I think Goja, FIU are at the heart of those potential opportunities when you put Amazon into that mix. When I met Walter, I was immediately interested in the way in which we might be able to combine forces and think about how a new e-commerce environment, this new technology and the existing 3D printing lab could all come together, not only for design education, but for education in general. Goji grew because we do many things from product design to internet placement. Professionals that understand how the internet works, how to optimize for Amazon and Google search, have a significant advantage over those that don't, regardless of the profession. University students need to learn these skills. I was introduced to John with the purpose of finding a 3D printing space where we could develop products faster. John is a very innovative educator, very creative and forward thinking as to where education should go. When I explained to him how Goja develops products, why Goja grew, and what the internet means for commerce and retail, and John realized that his students should learn this skill. Two years ago, I was on a panel in Washington, D.C., and one of the people on the panel with me was the head of HP Global. He was starting this project to model the future of higher education in America. It was called Building the Campus of Tomorrow. And we were invited to participate in this research project. And so that's when we approached the Knight Foundation for funding to work with MakerBot to create the largest 3D printing lab in the United States in an arts and design environment. This is the first time I've experienced a 3D printing facility where the students were able to touch and feel and create in a flexible, innovative way without restrictions. We offer every student a 3D printer and as much filament as they want for free to use whenever they want for any project that they're inventing. One of the great surprises that I got from working with these students was how good they actually are at designing products. By reading reviews on Amazon, by listening to what the Amazon community is telling them online, we're right away able to make a better product. And that speed of improving products is the future of e-commerce. Technology should be something that students approach. They approach the, the equipment, they learn how to use it, and they learn how to hack it. They understand failure as part of the process and not think about this as just a way to make a product, but it's a way to create a new form of education. In the past, you had to develop thousands of products in order to be able to recover the cost of development. But with a 3D printing facility and an Amazon account, you don't need investors, you don't need manufacturers, you don't need anything else than a good idea, a little bit of initiative to design your product, and you're in business. This was really faculty members and students coming together to form something new and to form an educational model that really adapted to the real world. It wasn't that we were creating things, it was that we were creating an ecosystem of learning that would be adaptable to be the future of higher education in America. Education has to evolve to meet the needs of the future careers, not the past careers. And when you bring 55,000 students from all over the world together and you give it the amount of resources that a university like FIU has, it, it's a birthplace for great ideas and innovative ideas. And that's what I think represents the biggest asset that FIU has right now. A young, diverse, really interesting population just trying to figure out what education will look like in the future versus what it has to be or what it has been in the last 100 years.